Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I decided to, you know, just start with my first vlog and just put up my first vlog video. And I'm actually on my way to go and get my dog. He's been in the um, animal hospital for two days now because I believe that my dad may have accidentally dropped some medicine behind his bed and my dog chewed it you know our dog chewed it up and he wound up getting really sick I actually I really do believe that he died but with me showing him compassion on my way trying to rush to the um, emergency 24-hour animal hospital you know me calling his name and things like that I feel like it kind of revived him and just gave him that, you know, that support system being there. So, I'm on my way to go get him. FYI, for those individuals who do not have dogs and things come up like this unexpectedly emergencies and such dogs are expensive I had to put down a $400 deposit for them to keep him in that hospital and that's not all the money that's not including um, the uh, fluid that they had to give him and things like that to uh, hydrate his body back like the IVs that's not included there. That's not including the stay fees. That was just for me to actually have him um, stay there for that first night. And for me to hold him overnight. So it's a lot more of the fees involved in pets than I really just realized. So before you get yourself involved, you know, with being a pet owner, you should really do your research look at some videos because pets are very expensive but I love them dearly so of course I didn't mind forking over the money to get him well you know it was a necessity and when I but first before I go get him I have to go to Home Depot to get some towel for my mom like it's for the shower so I have to go get some towel for her and then I'm gonna go get him and I really do miss him though and also I was also thinking about coming up with a series of weight loss because I know that a lot of people are interested in of course losing weight and you know getting muscle tone having getting your body right for the summertime and all year round body and I've, I've, I'm a yo-yoer I have I've gained lost weight gained lost weight and this time I really do want to be dedicated and sticking and sticking to it it's not that I haven't been dedicated because I've been going to the gym I really do believe that it was my calories that I was intaking because for those of you who don't know which is most of y'all don't know but I am vegan and I've been vegan uh, about a year and a half it'll be two years in in April so I've been vegan and with me listening to other youtubers about how the way that they did it and you know eating 3,000 calories a day that's not gonna work for me I've tried it and I mean literally bananas like I wasn't eating any fatty foods none of that I was doing the 3,000 calories but with me not keeping in mind that a calorie is a calorie there are good calories and there are bad calories but essentially if I'm not using that calorie it's just going to get stored there you know so I was thinking about doing a series of weight loss videos weight loss but also you know getting muscle tone and things like that on being vegan because a lot of people have this perception about vegans that you know all of us I guess are frail we don't get enough protein but that's not true because 
I've came across vegans who are, you know, muscular and are healthy and actually get all of their vitamins, nutrients, protein, all of their macros, you know, they get everything that they need. So that's definitely not true about us vegans. So I'm definitely going to consider uploading those type of videos as well. And I, I just want my channel to kind of be well-rounded. I want to hit every aspect that all of you want to see out there, you know. And I, I'm willing to do my research on it to give y'all a variety of content, you know. Something that everyone can relate to on my channel. And I'm also, I plan on vlogging on a regular basis. You know, putting up a vlog at least once a week. I plan on doing that. Because also, I'm in school, for those of you who don't know, which is most of you don't know, that, but I am in school, and I am in my master's program. I'm going to be, this is going to be my second semester in my master's program, and I'm a little nervous because I actually start school in two days, but I know that I'm capable of doing anything, and with God's will, and you know, I'm capable of doing it. I just have to stay focused, put my mind to it, and just, and you know, be my motivation. And basically just stay motivated. So, definitely, um, I have those videos coming out with my weight loss journey. But I want to also inspire other individuals as well. So, I want to include y'all in that too. And we can go back and forth in the comments. Y'all can upload videos as well to show y'all progress. And I'm all for it because all of us need motivation to get to where we need to go. Whether it is the weight loss, whether it's your career path, all of us need that motivation to, you know, get that, go to the next level. So I'm very excited for what's to come for my channel and just also in my life in general. I'm very excited about what's to come. I really do want y'all to stay tuned for it because I do have them. I do have it coming out. Like I'm very excited to show y'all pictures, results, and um, I'm gonna put up a before and after picture. And picture, like to just show y'all an actual video, not just with me vlogging it, but just to actually show y'all how my before pictures look, my after pictures look. Just giving y'all more detailed information about just my overall journey through my weight loss time period and just yeah through weight trying to get trying to make this weight loss thing work for me and this time I do want to take it seriously because now I definitely will be held accountable because you all are watching it <laughs> in the in um in the videos so So I will see you all tomorrow and I'll just give y'all a little update what's going on and y'all have a good day and God bless. The freaking lack of professionalism. Literally, the lack of professionalism. Instead of getting help, everybody wanted to be on their phone. Oh, I can't wait to leave. I can't wait to go. But right now, you still at your job. So, just do your job. Please just do your job. That's all I'm saying. Instead of being on your phone, just do your job. Like I was saying, the freaking lack of professionalism. Can y'all just get off your phones and just get what I need? And so I can just be done. They closed, baby. They think they still open, but they closed. Okay.
<laughs> but anyways, I see y'all in a bit. I mean, it's one thing to just be on your phone. Now you saying how bad you ready to go. You saying like all this in front of the customer. The customer is why you are here. It's your job. So the least that you could do is pretend that you want to be here. And I I know what retail life is. I've worked retail for well over five years. And I know what retail life is. So the customers don't really want to hear how bad you don't want to be here. Because you are here to do a job. And it was just so irritating that I had to walk all the way back down here to my car because they wanted to lock the other door.